Hello there, friends, and welcome to another beautiful blue sky day here on the island of Larkshire. Kix is here. We have some art waiting for us in our mailbox. We're gonna be building some bookshelves for our library. We're gonna run away from some thought bubbles. <laughs> and who knows what else we'll get up to today. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, Kiki's running around here in her sprite costume with some ice cream, so let's see what she's up to today. Good morning, and here's hoping it'll be a good day, sugar pie. I have a feeling it will be, Kiki. I'm glad you're never too busy to check in with me, Muffin. Alright, how, how are we doing on giant clams to, today? We have six in our pocket. What's on your mind, sugar pie? Here's a gift for you, ma'am. We have a giant clam with your name on it. Too bad we can't actually put her name on it. Wow, you're giving me a giant clam? Thanks a lot. Might come in handy for something I've been planning. Have a garden tank. Wait, is that what we literally just bought at Abel's? Uh, now that it's the end of August and Abel's is finally getting in some cute summer outfits. <laughs> it is, except in green. Okay, well that's fun. Cool, well now we have it in two colors. All right, we were able to uh, give away a few of our recipes yesterday, which is super helpful. Uh, got our little classroom finished and that turned in. We're gonna move this purple windflower because I saw it down here the other day and I was like, ooh, I know where we need one more purple windflower. So we're gonna take that to where that needs to go. We have a, is it a painting? Oh, warrior statue, okay, yeah. I ran over when I was messing around the other day and Red had a genuine warrior statue. So we grabbed that. Um, I ordered, <laughs> I also went to Paradise Planning and ordered a few wall decoration items and a shopping basket. That is for, we're gonna go ahead and grab these books out of here too. If we have room, if we have room. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> okay, um, but we, we are going to need those and we have a few more in storage for to build a bookshelf with. But um, yeah, so we got the warrior statue. We found out when we were decorating our classroom that we don't have a whole lot of choices for wall decoration for our house. So that's why I ordered those. And there's our storage shed. We'll probably just throw some stuff in there right now. Um, and then go put this purple windflower in our bee garden unless by some chance uh, that has spawned one of its own over there since we did water it the other day. Let's see. I made a raccoon figurine for some reason. Um, okay. Oh, we need to talk about the flowery painting too because I got not confused but a little bit confused <laughs> okay so guys what happened with the flowery painting and thank you for those of you in the comments that reminded me that this is a painting that is always genuine but see what happened was um it it was from a villager in the mail right so just real quick i threw it down and looked for the label on the back which is there by the way but as you can see it's like down in the corner under the easel kind of i just threw it down real quick didn't see the label at the top didn't even think about which painting it was i was just like oh it's from a villager in the mail must be fake so yeah thank you for correcting me on that <laughs> i appreciate it um, i will pay better attention next time but ooh, we have money uh, that that painting is indeed always genuine. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, and Kix is here today. Let's check in with Kix. Oh wait, you know what? Do we have pocket space? Oh, we did just clear some pocket space, didn't we? But he hasn't had a whole lot that we've wanted. I'm so tempted by the sword, but I don't know what we would actually do with it. So <laughs> we're not going to get the sword. Um, yeah, I didn't really see anything there that we need. Maybe next time kicks. All right, let's run up and put this flower where it needs to be. When we have all these little errands, we just start doing them <laughs> so that they get done. All right, we got a balloon here though. Red one. Could be something fun. Oh, and we get Nook Miles for knocking it down. Where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Woo. 
Let's see what it is. And we have some music in our pocket because uh, when KK Slider was here on Monday, I think, I, I just got a random song from him and he happened to give us Marine Song 2001. So that is what we got for that. I couldn't think of like a specific one to ask for. What is this? Oh, did we chop down a money tree and couldn't pick up all the bells? <laughs> That's probably what happened. Okay, ooh, we got a dig spot here. Wait, how much pocket space do we have now? A little bit. We gotta pick up our seashells and find our bottle on the beach today, too. It's just gonna be a running around kind of day, which is the kind of days we like in here. We're getting a little bit done, a little bit of... Um, caught up, finished, started. <laughs> All those things. And we'll take this one too. Now that we got the amount in our pockets down, I think I might have actually put some in the ABD because we had so much bells in our pockets. Okay, gong. I just love having that there and ringing it every time I run by. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, we did not grow another purple windflower, so we're gonna stick that one right there. Yay, so now that is finished. So there's something finished today. Um, and I love this little, we do need to finish this whole area though. We got the eight, uh, the bee hives in, but we, we need to put like a little ta work table in here maybe or something. I'm not sure exactly. That's one of the areas that needs to be finished up. And a uh, good point in the comments about the lighter yellow leaves here that um, pretty soon our grass will be turning that yellowy orange for fall. So we'll probably be okay just leaving that as is. It should blend in nicely. I think I saw another stick down here. So we, we do have plans to start a path off this bridge over here and bring our merry-go-round outside to this area. So we'll be working on that at some point, maybe today, maybe not today. Not really sure. We'll see how far we get. I kind of want to work on the library a little bit today. I think that's going to be our first order of business. And Raymond is home, so we should check in on him and see what he's doing in here today. Maybe he's crafting. Oh, no, he's cooking. What are you cooking, Raymond? All of a sudden, you have a kitchen in your house. <laughs> it's like a pop-up kitchen. Okay, what you making, friend? Glad you asked. It's carrot juice. Oh, okay. Uh, we have not had it Raymond style. Yeah. Let us have that one. That sounds like another good one for Kiki's veggie stand, doesn't it? Oh wait, carrot juice is like, that's in a little smoothie cup like the other smoothies, isn't it? Let's go ahead and give Raymond a clam too. Here you go. You know me so well. Okay, what are you giving us? A silk shirt. Okay, we'll probably sell that. How are we doing on pocket space now? Yeah, we probably better go do the seashells before we get too much farther into anything else. And then, and then we'll probably either build, oh, you know what? We will build a workbench because this, let's see, which acre is it? Which acre needed a workbench? It was this one. Hold on, we'll get there. <laughs> it was this one. This acre requires a cooking surface, which we have right here in our little oven, and a crafting station. So we're gonna make a workbench and find like a little spot somewhere over here for it. Cause this acre goes over like halfway, halfway through resident services, I think. Yeah, like halfway through. So we're gonna stick it in this corner somewhere. I don't know if we're gonna put it like visible or if we're gonna hide it somewhere. I'm not sure yet. We'll see which ones we can build and then decide. All right, Francine is home too, so we'll probably check in on her at some point. What are we doing right now? Seashells, yes. <laughs> Seashells, let's get those done. Picked up, out of the way. Make sure we have plenty of giant clams. We're almost into a new month and i think guys that the cicadas go away with august which means that we need to make sure that we catch those last two cicadas that we need uh, before august leaves us so we'll be on the lookout for those two let's just double check and see 
which ones those were that we needed. Let's grab that. Ooh, five times. We got a thousand nook miles for that. Sweet. We got to talk to one more neighbor to get some more. Oh, we were supposed to be checking our Critterpedia. See, <laughs> that happens to me in real life too. Like I'll pick up my phone to look at something and then uh, end up looking at something totally different and not doing what I meant to what I picked it up for in the first place. Okay, we're going to bugs, we're going to cicada. We need a brown cicada and a giant cicada. Those are the two that we need. We also though, I think, I think there was one other, did we get all these grasshoppers? I guess we did, okay. So I think we're good. Just look out for those two cicadas. Brown cicada and a, what did I say? Robust? <laughs> I can't remember now. Oh my goodness. We'll look for it. We gotta get to the other side of the beach and get the rest of our seashells. And then we'll go see what's in Nooks today. And maybe they will have some more cool wall decoration stuff for us. Midge! Oh, it's Bestie! Glad to see you! A while ago, I was walking by the water when I saw the shadow of something huge just offshore. I rushed to cast my fishing line, thinking I had a chance at the biggest fish I might ever catch. I reeled in my line and all I'd managed to catch was an old filthy tire, Twinkles. Oh, that is disappointing, Midge. <laughs> I'm sorry that happened. Oh, man. That's never fun. Okay. Well, there's a big shadow, but that's probably a sea bass. We definitely don't need any of those. We're probably missing some of the pier fish too from the from the summer here. Maybe we should look that up. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot to keep track of. Oh, we wanted to change this out too, because this this beach situation is I don't know. I just like get caught on it every time I run by there, and I don't like it. So we're gonna change that too. Have we got music in this player? Oh, Punchy's thinking now. We're, we'll talk to Punchy. Because he's one of the ones that we will allow to move out. And we got his photo, so let's check with him. Um, let's see. Oh, it is playing a song. Okay, it's playing two days ago. Maybe we'll turn that up a little bit. Uh, we have one to register, though, so let's get that done. Marine song. 2001 all done cool and let's see what's today it's Thursday yeah we could totally do a villager hunt on Saturday <laughs> let's see so there's some things I've been trying to get a hold of but I'm too short on bells I mean so I'm trying to sell some of my stuff okay false alarm you know things that aren't too fingerprinty or broken Want to buy something, maybe? I got four things for you to check out. All right, we'll what do you got? What do you got there? Whoa, okay, let me see. How's about some head bandages? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna check on number two here. <laughs> if that's not your thing, maybe you'd like a baseball cap? Hmm, we do like caps, but I don't know if a baseball cap is exactly our thing. What else you got? Maybe you'd be more into something like uh, a comedian's outfit. Ooh, should we take that one? If we get down to the last one, it's gonna be something really weird. All right, we'll take we'll take the comedian's outfit. Thanks a bunch. You're the best, Caroline. Thank you, Punchy. Maybe we've cataloged another color of that. I think we've had a couple colors of it already. Let's see what color it is. Ooh, we got a glowing spot here too. Ooh, our pockets are getting full too. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, it's a white one. I think we had like orange before and purple maybe. Let's see if we can grab 10,000 bells here. Get another money tree going. And berry. And then we'll see what's in our message bottle for the day. We're not going to leave that right there. It's not a good spot. What's in here? Anything good? Anything new? A golden wristwatch. And we already know it. Wow. <laughs> okay. What did we have here though? Carrot juice. We didn't know that one yet. Okay. Now we can make some carrot juice. Did we have anything else that we needed to donate to Blathers? No. Okay. I think I would have said it right there if we had. Um, static is not home. 
I can't see his window. Okay, he's not home. And he's still holding on to those Villager of the Week balloons for us because we're so behind, guys. <laughs> but don't worry, over this next week, I'm going to be on vacation in real life, but I am pre-recording. We are going to get all caught up on all the Villager house remodels that we owe to, to our Villagers of the Week. We owe Pajmina, we owe Static, and there's a good possibility that we'll do Caroline just because uh, we want to get her acre going and that is going to be part of it. We're going to make her a little bed and breakfast, which is going to be super exciting. Okay, so we picked up all the seashells. Let's go check into Nooks. I'm just running back and forth aimlessly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And actually, we have a workbench right there next to Nooks, which is right next to the library. So we won't have to go far to do our bookshelves and things, which is good. Um, okay, some really cute stuff in here today. I love that little music cart thing. I want to sell... Would that go in a library? Let's see. We don't want to sell the warrior statue. We don't want to sell our shed. Um, okay, we can sell all this stuff. We can... I'm just gonna sell that golden wrist watch. Woo, that's hard to say. Um, we're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell that. Oh, I think there might have been something else we could sell. What was that? Alright, um, what was this in our pocket? Oh, the flowery painting. Which is real, and we could sell it, but we're not. Oh, we should have sold the comedian's outfit, too. <laughs> let's let's get rid of it while we're in here. Might as well. It's not like we're going to be wearing it. Okay, there you go, buddies. Now we have to buy this cute little music cart and find a spot for it. Maybe that would go up cute in our little ocean overlook area. We might have to check it out up there. Or in Caroline's Acre, actually. It might be cute. I don't know. We're going to buy this too, just because we probably already have two and I love buying duplicates. <laughs> Should we buy the little buffet thing too? How much is it? A salad bar. 12000 That's not bad. We'll go ahead and buy it and get that catalog too. Perfect. We'll put those things in storage. We're going to buy this little iced lemon tea too. I think we already have the box with the pears on it, so I'm not going to buy that. But if we're in the storage and we um, happen to think of it, we might check on that just to be sure. Okay, so a couple more things in our pocket that we do want to deal with. And that is the donation box and what? There was a couple things. Yeah, the shopping basket. Okay, so I picked those up for Kiki's little vegetable stand. So we're going to put those at her vegetable stand. We'll put away the salad bar. We'll put away the stool. We'll put away this. Oh, not the street organ. I want to keep that out too, just in case. I'm going to put away the flowery painting for now because um, I don't know that we have like a designated place for it. Although it might look really cute in the library now that I think about it. All right, so what else did we have for her? The donation box, which we need to customize, I think. I was kind of gonna look. We're gonna go into the patterns for just a second and see. Um, and guys, here's a little trick. If you know you have other patterns that you want, um, to find the rest of them, like this honey one, all, they also had some really cute veggie patterns. So if you go in here and say erase, it'll tell you that it was designed by Cat, <laughs> which is super helpful when you're trying to find the rest of them. So we're going to go into our custom designs portal and see what else Cat has going on and if she has something cute for Kiki's little donation box. All right, so here we are, we're going under our favorites and I have a bunch saved, but here's Kat. <laughs> so we're gonna go in here to Kat's designs and this is her code there if you like any of those. Let's see, we have Farm Fresh seems perfect, right? Oh, we have books too, that's so cute. We don't want it to be a specific vegetable though because um, 
she's selling all the vegetables and some baked goods and some other stuff. So farm fresh seems perfect. We have a few empty spots here, so we're gonna get it right there. Uh, there's one that says fruit too, which is super cute, but we only need one for the donation box. So there we go. Okay, so let's customize that donation box real quick. And I think all our little tables and stuff up there are the light wood, so we'll probably keep it that light wood. And then we'll just go here to the custom designs and choose that farm fresh. Yeah, Kiki's just gonna have a donation box up there because she doesn't have time to be standing around up there waiting for people to come by all the time. She's got stuff to do, like walk around eating her ice cream, you know? <laughs> so yeah, uh, she's just gonna have a donation box there and people can come get whatever they need. And I guess we'll put it here in front of the tree. Is that gonna leave room for us to get by still? Oh, if we put it in front of the tree. What if we put it like offset a little bit? There we go, farm fresh. Yeah, we can still get through there, super cute. Oh, or should it go back here? No, I kind of like keeping this open to get through there. So let's see. And then the other thing we had for her was this little shopping basket. Where'd I put it? And I ordered this from Wardell. I got the green one. Maybe we can put that back here. I got the green one to go with the veggies. So we'll, we'll set that there. I don't like it there. <laughs> we'll set that not right there. I kind of wanted it to go in this little corner. Is it not going to go in this little corner? No. Um, what about if we just put it right here? Okay, if we push it this way and then this way. I really can't put it up there? Why? <laughs> I want to really badly. Okay. Um... The only way, and we can't move the stall over because there's flowers right here, so... Oh, we can move it over one. Okay. Well, cool. Let's do that then. We can pull this up one, and then I think it'll let us do that. Yay. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks much better. Cool. All right, so I think that Kiki's little stall might actually be finished now, although don't quote me on that because I keep finding more little things to put up here. <laughs> so, But I love adding little details to stuff as we go. It's super fun. And what was the other thing that we saw in our pocket? Oh, the street organ. Let's go try that over here. Did we talk to Punchy already? We did because he sold us a comedian's outfit. He's going to do his exercises out there now. So let's see if we can find a spot over here for the street organ. Or if it, uh, mm, is it going to fit in? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe like right here across from the fortune cookie cart. You just put it like right there. Hmm. I would kind of want it somewhere though that we could have it facing the front though. Can we have it facing the front right there? And then it's facing away from the people. And that's not good. Maybe this is not the right spot for us. So the other place we said was maybe over in Caroline's Acre. Near the little pond might be a good spot. Oh, we're supposed to be looking out for cicadas too. Don't forget. <laughs> There's so many things to watch for and do all the time. We did just scare some bugs though and that might have been the cicadas that we needed. All right, I'm trying to walk slower. At least in the areas where there's trees. We don't need a jewel beetle. Okay, oh yeah, this is kind of like a perfect little spot for it here. There we go. We can put it here. Next to the pond. It's super cute. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll put it there for now. It may end up moving a little bit. Um, as we finish Caroline's Acre. But right now, we are gonna build some bookshelves. So let's grab, let's see, what do we have here still? The wooden storage shed, which we don't need right here because there's one right over there. Oh, and the warrior statue. So we will watch out for that. Oh, we need a place to plant that money tree too. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Okay, <laughs> let's just get going on the bookshelves over here. So we're gonna pull some books out of storage. 
and get something out. And, oh, it's little stuff. Oh, see, we do already have two, two boxes with the pears on it, so I'm glad we didn't buy one of those. Really bad for forgetting what's already in here. Like, see these book stands right there? I just sold like two of those identical ones <laughs> because we had three of them. Okay, we'll grab all those and all those. And we may be coming back to get some of these books. Actually, let's go ahead and grab this one. And do we have any other... Like, a this little dresser kind of goes with that furniture there. I don't know. We'll see what else we come up with. But let's get... Oh, let's get this balloon. I was just making sure we didn't miss it. You can never tell what the shadow is not a good indicator of where it is in the sky. <laughs> oh, we actually still had plenty of pocket space. Okay, we got some risotto. Nice. That will not be going in the library. All right, let's craft some bookshelves. We're gonna make at least one. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Do we even have the bookshelf recipe? <laughs> yes, we do. Yay. Okay. Um, oh, we need some wood though. We don't have any wood. Do we have any in storage? Oh, that's the ABD. <laughs> we need some wood. What did, what did we use up all our wood on? Oh, that's the little empty space in our pocket that keeps getting filled by something else. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, we got tons. Let's just go ahead and grab a couple stacks here. Whoops, put that away. <laughs> put that away. Okay, so we're going to craft. We're going to make a bookshelf for real this time. Um, keep crafting. So we grabbed that one dresser, but I think, isn't there... Oh, we need to make a crafting table too. Let's not get distracted though. We're on bookshelves right now. <laughs> bookshelves! Um, let's see. Where There's like a little nightstand looking thing, side table situation with books in it. Let's make one of those. I think we can customize that to a dark brown too. And then maybe, maybe, maybe we'll make one of these. Which we have to make some wooden block toy for. Do and we'll make one of those. I don't know. We'll go ahead and make these. Will we use them? I don't know, but we like having options. <laughs> so now we gotta customize all these to some darker wood. Customize. To yeah, I think we're going with the darkest. Get a This one. Maybe inside the library would be a good place for our villager photos. <laughs> we gotta find a place for those too. Okay, and oh, I thought there was one of these that had darker wood on it, but I guess that's the darkest. Well, we probably won't end up using that one then. We do have this display stand up here too that we might end up using in our library. Okay, so we have this here. Oh, and we got another balloon. This is one thing. It's like you start doing a build and that's all that happens. It's balloons every five seconds. <laughs> Maybe we'll get something good that we can use in the library. A tool shelf, not that. Um, we picked up those... Do, do. Where'd they go? Oh, we still have a lot of books in our pocket there. So let's put those there and maybe we'll just place an open book there. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so what else, what else? Um, we have this little study carol. We can put a bookshelf right here to kind of separate the library from the nooks of it all. 
I'll put it right on, that's on the back of that magazine stand, right? Are they lined up? It's so hard to tell. I think so. <laughs> okay, so can this get pushed a little closer up there then? Um, do we want it pushed a little closer up there then? I don't know. All right, we're gonna put this little stool in front of that because you gotta have a place to sit. What should we put there though? Should we put like a little computer? I don't know if we have a little computer. Let's see what we have else that could go in a library. Get something out. We probably don't have a computer, but we could go steal the tablet from the classroom now that we got our picture and turned it in. So what do we have here? What else would go in a library? Maybe a key tray. Mm, no, maybe not. Ooh, this though. The globe. That seems library-ish, doesn't it? Um, maybe some model kits could be sitting. We got this pop-up book to go in there. Maybe we'll put the pop-up book where we put that other book. I don't know. We'll have to see. This is kind of cute. Whoops, not that. Um, this is kind of cute maybe for the library vibe too. The little uh, suitcase. Rover's briefcase. And what else? What else? This... Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, we could put like a cute little moss ball in there somewhere. Do we want to have music playing in the library? Probably not. Libraries are supposed to be quiet, right? We got another one of these lamps we could use. Okay, I think that's about it. So let's see what we can muster up with all that. Um, oh, so we have to go steal the tablet from the classroom build, though, <laughs> in our house. Is Mary thinking again? Nope. Okay. We're not talking to her if she is. She's not moving. She doesn't get the choice. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's get in here and we'll check and see if there's anything else in here that could go in our library, too, because... Uh, we don't need it in here anymore. So let's grab this. Oh no, I was going to clean up, but my pockets are full. <laughs> no. All right, let's put this risotto away. Um, you know what? I'm going to put the stack of 30 kept in our pocket. Let's put this wood away. What else can we put away? Moss ball, banker's lamp, pop up. Um, tool shelf we don't need on us. Oh, we, end, we said that wooden block bookshelf wasn't going to work, didn't we? Do we have enough books to build another big... We don't. Okay. All right. Let's grab that. We'll actually grab this little homework set. And what else? What else? What else? The strapped books, maybe? I kind of like this locker shelf. We may come and steal that, too. Oh, there's a stack of books here. We'll take that, too. And we're, we're going to grab this plan. <laughs> okay. All right. That should do it. I know there's some strapped books there too, but I don't know that we'll use those for the library. Um, strapped books indicates that you're like carrying them somewhere. That was like the carrying device. So I don't know that you'd be... I mean, I guess you carry your books to the library. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we have room for. What we need. Mary, what are you doing looking in our windows over there? Wait, did we get all our mail? I thought we got all our mail. Did we run out of pocket space? Oh, there's two more books in there. Yay. Okay, good. I think we're kind of out of pocket space though again. Yeah, we are. All right. <laughs> you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to slap down this money tree like right here. And I'm also going to put down this shed right here since we have one right next to where we're working. Just to give us a little wiggle room in our pockets there. Uh, warrior statue needs to go to Blathers, but we are going to take that once we catch our cicadas. Which, there's a brown cicada right there! <laughs> so let's get it. Wait, I can't see. Okay. Stealthy. Got it. Now it feels blue, cicada. Okay, so that was one of the ones that we need. And we'll probably... Let's... Mm -mm -mm. Let's set that stuff down right here. We'll just place our warrior statue and our brown cicada until we catch the other cicada. And that way those are not in our pocket either. Okay, now. <laughs> now we're in business. Let's put the tablet that we just picked up. There it is. 
into the study carol and then we'll move this over which we have another one of these brown benches that we can use somewhere that we'll have to grab out of storage if we decide we need it because um, you gotta have a place to sit down and do your little tablet over here so that's good <laughs> got that and then maybe we'll put the briefcase where'd it go right next to that because i think oh not on there i'm trying to set it down on the ground so we have to get far enough away so it doesn't go right there um now where did it go okay there it is set that down put it like right next to this yeah i think that'll be super cute okay so then where do we put let's see do we want to put maybe this here are we making the library like part of his whole house situation? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull this further than I wanted it and then bring it over. Okay, there we go. I'm kind of trying to blend in this line where the path ends too. So I think that'll look okay there. And then let's put actually the globe on top of that. That'll look cool there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we're just going to blend his house right in with the library here. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? What else do we need? We need to build another big bookshelf, don't we? Pop-up book, banker's lamp, moss ball. Okay, the rest of this is little stuff. Oh, we got a stack of books. We can put that here. Um, and turn it this way. Yeah, there we go. We'll put that there. Okay, uh, let's go get the, wait, hold on. How many books do we have in our pocket? One, two. Is it just two? Because, oh, we do have three, okay. Because I think you need five to build the big bookshelf and I wasn't even gonna go bother getting those two out of the mailbox if we only had, um, oh, Midge, you're thinking now. We're not talking to you. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't even gonna come get these if we didn't have three in our pocket because there would have been no points. We would have had to order another one. Ooh, there's another balloon. So let's get those opened up. And grab our slingshot again. Where is it? Ah, we missed. It's a blue one this time. It's gonna be clay or something, right? Iron nuggets, not too bad. <laughs> okay, all right. The library is coming together over here. Let's go build another bookshelf. Um, I like that we left a little space to get through right there. I think it's good to leave those spots so we don't have to like run all the way around everything. Let's craft. Uh, where did it go? Big bookshelf. There it is. I always think I passed it. It seems like it should be in with the other wooden stuff, but it isn't. <laughs> okay, and then we gotta recolor it. And then we're gonna look in the storage again and grab like that other stool and the big den desk that we have. Cause we're gonna change up the taxes area a little bit. Customized a wooden bookshelf. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And yeah, so we need to get something out. And that something is going to be over here. It's going to be what? What did we say? <laughs> the den desk. And the boxy stool. And you know what? Um, we're going to grab this double sofa. Maybe. No, we are going to grab it. We did. <laughs> um, whether we use it or not is the maybe. Uh, we don't want a TV in the library. We don't want like the chalkboard. I kind of like using that chalkboard backwards for a background sometimes. So, but I don't think we're going to need that here. Um, unless we take out part of this brick wall or something and put it there, but then that would totally block the trees behind it. I don't know if we want to do that. So, oh, there's a tablet back here too. A blue one. Whoops, didn't mean to pick that up. All right, we're going to replace this with the den desk. 
There we go. Now that's a desk. Uh, we're gonna have to have a better chair to go at that then. What other chairs do we have? He's gonna need like a, a real office chair. Do we have one of those? Let's see. We might have to uh, go order something from Wardell. Yeah, we don't have a good office chair. We're gonna have to find Raymond a good office chair for over there. Uh, for right now, we'll replace it with the one that was here. Mm. Study chair. Okay. There we go. See, the thing I like about the study chair, though, is that we can get it in it from the side so he can actually, like, sit there. And actually, before we put that down, we need to put in the tablet device and our document stack. Whoops, not the pop-up book. Document stack. Put those back. <laughs> okay. And then we can put the chair in. Where'd it go? Study chair. Okay, we'll probably have to, whoops, we'll probably have to wait on changing out that other table too. I don't know if that one can be customized to match. Okay, where do we want this other boxy stool? Where do we want this other bookshelf? Should we put it on the same side? Should we put it over here? Maybe over here. If we can find it. Wooden bookshelf, there we go. Oh, you know what? We picked up one of those tables, so we could actually test that out and see what customizations it has. Oh, there's something on the ground over here. Another book, <laughs> okay. Um, so we can put that bookshelf right there, maybe. Um, I don't know, it feels like it's kind of cutting things off there, doesn't it? We might have to extend this floor over one more space. I like it better in that spot. Yeah, we'll have to think about extending this floor. Let's just see what customization options there are for this simple table. I feel like it only comes in some like pastel -y colors or something. That's not going to work for what we need. Oh, we can only customize the cloth on it anyway. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. Oops, <laughs> we can get through right there. Okay, so where, where, oh where do we want another place to sit? Maybe we'll put this other boxy stool just right here. So we have a little sitting spot just right outside Raymond's door. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of weird, right? If he comes out his door and somebody's just sitting there. Um, all right, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna have to extend this path. I didn't, I didn't really want to do that but it is now necessary. Start construction. Okay, so we'll choose our little custom design, which I put right here at the top. I'll just cover up some of those plant things. And I'll probably put it just that one more spot that way. And two more spots this way. Okay. And then we'll put that. Where did it go? For Scythia back. And we'll put our bookshelf. If we can find it. <laughs> Where'd I go? Okay, yeah, it was kind of all the way back there, I think. And then our little... Wooden end table. With the globe on top. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of cute. So maybe we'll put this other boxy stool over here. This is a place where you can sit and read next to the bookshelf. I'm going to pull it out just a spot where you can't really see it behind the tree, but it's there. Um, what else can we put? Something can go right here. We got a book. We got the model kits. Um, you know what? Or hmm, what if we put like the sofa in right here? 
that as far as it can... Oh, because... Is this tree stunted? That tree's not stunted, is it? Oh, yes it is, too. Well, you know what? We're gonna... We're gonna move it. <laughs> we're gonna move that. And we're going to put it right here. Because that will still stunt the tree. It's just gonna have a little plantling next to it. Um, and then, oops, and then we'll have to fill that spot in with our custom design. Okay, and then we can move this couch over. Sofa. Yeah, there we go. I think that'll be better. And then there's a nice little reading spot right there. Perfect. Um, so what can go over here then? We're gonna need some other kind of table simple small dresser oh i forgot we picked that up so let's grab that and maybe put that whoops i'm not gonna be able to push this am i we have to move you over for a minute <laughs> push this back here yep and what can we put on top of that what other cool stuff did we pick up a fan palm the moss ball um, if we put the lamp here, then we could make this a little reading spot and put our stool and then um, I want to fit that little fan palm in here somewhere, but it's not gonna it's not gonna go, is it? Let's see. Can we sit on the stool there? Yes, we can. okay. You know what maybe we'll put the fan palm right here on the other side of the pillar. Where did it go? That's not it. There it is. That's okay, right? Maybe we can get another fan palm for the other side. Let's see if we have another one in our storage. Get something out. Okay, a lot less running around in this episode, isn't there? <laughs> Those are mostly just working in one little spot. Okay, we do not have another fan palm. Oh no. Um, all right, well, we're gonna have to order one, aren't we? Search. For a fan palm. Okay, cool. Well, we'll get that in here. And, um, all right, that'll take that space. And then I feel like maybe the, the rest of it, we should keep it kind of open for, you know, Raymond's gonna be coming out of his house here or whatever. So that seems like a good plan. Um, we're gonna leave room for people to get around that. So that'll be there. We're gonna work on changing out that table to something else and but otherwise I think we've got a nice good start on the library here that looks really good actually maybe we can think of something to put on top of these pillars too nothing that we had already like we could put the moss ball up there but I think that might look kind of weird <laughs> yeah that looks kind of weird okay maybe we can think of something else to put up there like um some kind of figurine or something I don't know we'll have to think on it was there anything else that we needed to do today? Yes, there is, in fact, that we need to do today. We're gonna grab this cicada, we're gonna grab this, and we're gonna go find our other cicada and get those to the museum because that was on our list today. So what was the other cicada that we needed? I went into the wrong thing. <laughs> the other one that we need is the giant cicada. Okay, and well, just to be sure that we are on the right time of day and all that good stuff. Okay, so it is active right now. So we just gotta walk around and find one. We'll talk to any other villagers that we see on the way. Oh, and guys, totally forgot, totally forgot. There's someone in the campsite. Isabel told me during the announcements and I completely forgot. Did you guys notice it when we were up here working on Kiki's thing? And you were like, I wonder if she's going to uh, see who's in the campsite today. We should probably do that. It could be Grizzly. <laughs> oh, but it is not Grizzly. It's Elise. Hi, Elise. 
Well, you're not a shy one, are you? My name's Elise. How kind of you to stop by. I absolutely love this island, don't you? The air, the trees, the water, it's all so splendid. I confess, I can't help but think how fabulous it would be to live here. It is fabulous to live here. Unfortunately, you are not a grizzly bear, so we're not going to invite you. Sorry, Elise. <laughs> Maybe next time. Okay, looking for a cicada. Giant cicada. I guess it would make sense to go over to where we have the most trees. I'll get our net back out. And we're probably done with construction mode for now, too. Wrap up sequence. What? Now, why did that make us put our net down? <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Okay, I'm going to try not to run here because we don't want to scare one if we see it. All right, there's a dragonfly. Surely there's a cicada on one of these trees back here. If we can see them all. I don't hear any, though. It is the right time of day and everything. Any cicadas? Oh, I see a stick we need to pick up. Look at all these pink cosmos. <laughs> we haven't found a single place to put one. Oh, wait. There was something on the tree right there. Is that a cicada? Nope, that's something else. Alright. Oh, you know what? We're gonna scare it away, so maybe a cicada will spawn somewhere. <laughs> oh, I saw another little bug on the ground over there. Any cicadas over here? We've somehow ended up with a bunch of trees over here. I keep forgetting to, like, chop down the, uh, money trees when we harvest them. Alright, come on, cicadas. Where are you? It's your time. It's your time to shine. We're gonna scare away this guy. We're just gonna scare away a bunch of bugs until we find the one we need. Do do. <laughs> this is, yep. Oh wait, Francine. We haven't talked to you yet. Wasn't she home earlier? If it isn't dear Swanky, thank you for coming over to see me, dear. What's the latest? Isn't this weather gorgeous? It makes Larkshire look as if it could be the background for a fashion shoot. Yes, it does. Uh, we're going to give you a giant clam. Because that's what we do. She's in her exercise outfit. She must have been exercising. All right, a cycling shirt. Thank you. We'll sell that. Don't need a cycling shirt. Oh, Midge is doing some yoga over there too, so maybe Francine will join her. <laughs> All right, let's go look back here again, and then we'll check over in Caroline's Acre, because there's a fair amount of trees over there too. I'm not hearing any cicadas though. Like, where are they? We might just have to be happy with the one that we got. We'll do it. Oh no, I think that was a brown one though. Okay, I hear something. I hear cicadas. Where are they? Okay, that's a brown cicada though. We can scare that one away. I don't know what the other one sounds like. Like in... Okay, we can scare this bug away. That's another brown cicada. Scare that one away. No, we need, <laughs> we need a giant cicada. Come on, where are they? Alright, let's go check Caroline's Acre. And then we'll just head up toward the museum. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Okay. We got this. We got this. We'll get a sneak up on it. I hope we can get it from this angle. Gotcha. Is that the right one? No, that's a robust cicada. Not the right one. Okay. We'll keep looking. <laughs> we'll keep looking. Kiki's looking for one too. She's got her net out. She's gonna help us out. All right, we don't need that guy. Oh, here's a here's a different one. Maybe. Is this the same one we just caught? Another robust cicada. Okay. I think the one we're looking for is like a little bit darker, maybe. Uh, let's see if there's any hanging out on Kiki's fruit trees up here. 
Nope. Would I hear something though? But I think it's a grasshopper. All right, one more quick walk down through here. And then we'll just go give Blathers what we got and look for the other cicada another day. It's eluding us right now. Yep, not seeing it. We won't run though, just in case it's on the way back. <laughs> we'll do a quick loop around. We'll give it every chance. Um, there's one, but I don't think that's it either. It looks too small to be a giant cicada. Walker cicada, okay. All right, well, we'll just head up to the uh, museum then and donate what we've got. Is Static at home yet? No. Where is he? We didn't see him anywhere. He might be in here in the museum somewhere, <laughs> actually. But we're not going to go looking for him. All right, Blathers, wake up. We have art and we have a bug. Donation. Several things, okay. And that is it. Okay, so yeah, we have another statue in our art section now. Just super exciting. We love getting more statues. It doesn't go in the statue section though. This one is, oh, there's static. Look at that. <laughs> we came to look at our statue and we found the static instead. I know exactly how this guy feels. Just sitting there thinking about one of life's ineffable mysteries. Like, where did I leave my stinking house keys? <laughs> See static, if you had a key tray, we'll have to remember that. Put a key tray in static's house. Hold the pack of gum. You're the one who donated this thing, aren't you? That's mighty generous, kiddo. Yeah, it is. I'm glad you like it. All right, where's our new statue, though? He's in the corner back here. There he is. Oh, yeah, he comes with all the little guys, too. <laughs> Super fun. All right, well, we're going to call it right there for today. I think we got a lot accomplished. We have a library now, or Raymond has a library now. Mostly a library. We still have a few tweaks to put on it, but um, and we found static so super fun <laughs> All right, so thank you so much guys for joining me today here on Larkshire I would appreciate it so much if you click the like button for me And if you're enjoying our little Animal Crossing series here, go ahead and click subscribe as well Turn on those notifications so you can be sure to join us for the next one. I'll see you there friends Have a beautiful day